Okay. So we're continuing on our donation. Probably have 75 to 100 more of these to do because this donation center uh, session just went off the hook. And, and where am I at right now? $2,200 we raised for the Maui Food Bank. Do you know how epically cool that is? And at the very beginning of this stream, and I was talking to uh, I'm a Sneak and 1IM Bus and going, I don't know, maybe it's 500. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, okay, well, I'll just push it to 1,000. And if I don't get 1,000, that's okay. And I think I got 800 in the first half hour, and then the rest kind of trickled in. So that's absolutely insane that I'm at $2,100. And thank you guys so, so, so much. So, um, Oh, about 50 more to go. Okay. <laughs> it does, it's about the same. I'll be here till the next supper. I'll be like listening to like, I'll be doing reactions to this and all of a sudden I'll be like, oh, Apostles, Party of Twelve, right this way. Uh, the uh, the next supper is going to be over here. Uh, you guys enjoy yourselves. I got more reactions I got to do. Ah, ha, 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 mahalo. All right, here we go. Uh, this is for Xrain Deer. And thank you once again for your $20 donation. And this is Final Fantasy fourteen. Forge Ahead Flow Music Video by Keiko and Amanda Achen. Achen? Achen? Here we go. All right. chicken skin there. Remember the rain near and far beloved each drop a blessing from heavens above and how less time flowed on those waters became one streams, rivers and lakes reaching forth So badly didn't want to stop I just had to uh, just briefly just say for me it's such a pleasure to watch uh, musicians as they get enveloped into their performance and as we're watching to our uh, our uh, piano player uh, Keiko um, there's a fluidity to the performance obviously she could sit cold stone and play the dynamics as we hear it but in the visual performance as well, uh, to watch a musician uh, become one with the instrument in that flow 
you know, with the hands and the, and the choreography. This is just the subtle choreography of, of becoming one with the performance. And then on the other hand, this incredible singer, never heard of her. Sorry, I'm just an old man sitting on the beach, just doing my thing. So I don't have a big dynamic depth and understanding of all, all the great singers out there. But she has got such an amazing, amazing voice and popping in and out of her head voice from her, her chest voice and stuff and, and the fluidity as well. So to watch both of them, I'm mesmerized by the complete performance. And it's a beautiful song. I can't tell it from anything else in Final Fantasy, where it comes from, where's this melody from or anything, but as a song, or maybe this isn't a, a final song, if you would, or something of that nature, like at the end of the series or something, but this is just, just wonderful. Sinking deeper and deeper in calm embrace Loving tides sweep in and bear you down Should you meet a soul-rising surface race With your own beating heart, wish them well Deep, dark, far yeah. away I have heard your voice With your every choice Now our hands join round The meaning you sought I'll catch your tears Beautiful ending with the piano. It's just absolutely unbelievable. And uh, I, I thought for a second she may be coming in with a little bit of a riff. Maybe maybe I'll listen. Is there anything else left there? No riff. Okay, just checking. Um, the piano arrangement, this kind of progressive um, kind of classical mix to what otherwise would be um, contemporary chord performance what she brought to that was beautiful as a matter of fact i'm also a, i also uh am a kind of a freak for the left hand performance the importance of the bottom end of the of a piano and uh you know some of the strides that she was working uh with the chord change is really nice you know <clears throat> the walk up two octave kind of stuff that was keeping kind of that bottom end really warm and rich you know, I, I really appreciated that, you know, and there was always a lot of nice little dynamics of the, you know, a lot of the beautiful performance dynamics, but this was great. Once again, I don't know if this is a, <coughs> um, 
uh, reindeer, reindeer, is this um, a re-performance of this, or was this the original song as we heard it that's on the game? I don't, you know, because uh, I don't know if this was um, a rearrangement of something that was original. So this is a live version of the game's performance, but in the game, was it just piano and a voice? Or was it a little more involved? You know, I, I'm just curious. I just, this stands well on its own being just the two of them um, in the performance, but I, I just didn't know. <coughs> That's why I wanted to ask. It was simple and laid back like this, okay. Well, this was great. This was fantastic. I like the way she's looking at me. I'm kidding. <laughs> Vicariously, I live through the moment of the stop frame. All right. Pouncing Moogie. Are you still here with me? <clears throat> uh, I know, $2,200. This is just so insane. Ugh, and so wonderful at the same time. I'm just so elated and, and so excited. Um, 23. Jeez, all right. Oh, I'm getting a sore throat. Uh, so, yes, Pouncing Moogie, first of all, thank you so much, first of all, for hanging out as long as you have. You put this in six hours ago, and it takes a while to get through this stuff, but I can't thank you enough for coming here, hanging out, sticking through it, somehow enjoying still being here with me, and um, as well as a lot of you still here with me through and through. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, your song is... Uh, oh. This will be the first one of, of the evening from The Legend of Zelda. The Wind Walker uh, staff credits. So hang on, let me let me get that. Uh, the Wind Walker. Game Grumps, um, Link is on a teeny sailboat with a massive ocean around him full of islands and mysteries. Oh, wow. That, <laughs> thanks for that theater of the mind there. Um, okay, so which one am I playing? Oh, uh, am I, it's, it's an OST, but it looks like it's a, wait a minute. Ah, would it be the, uh, uh, pfft. which one would it be? Stand by, guys. Wind Waker? Staff credits. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, here we go. This must be it. Yes, this sounds more like it. Oh, I like that. If it's staff credits, that usually means it's an iteration of or a culmination of the melody throughout a movie slash or maybe a game. So is that what this might be for me coming up? I don't know. But uh, I want to thank you, Pouncing Mogi, for hanging out and being here and supporting the Maui Food Bank. It's absolutely epic of you in doing that and still hanging out here and waiting for your song to come up. So here we go. This is for you. All right. Love that Celtic melody. I love that. 
a little strings happen in there. Wow. I gotta stop this. This is so freaking cool, this track. Um, the one thing I want, the reason why I want to stop it because I, I just have too much in my head marinating about how they brought us even just to this point. We're only a minute into the track and there were so many extraordinary little arrangement additions that were uh, firing off there. Even that beginning melody, um, I don't know if you guys heard it, but there was like a little harp uh, in unison of that happening way down at the bottom um, with that first, um, once again, I don't know the name of the instrument that's holding that. Um, uh, whatever that Celt Celtic um, reed or flute instrument was. But the imagination to actually have the harp doubling it, just to give us just a little bit of that percussive support, very low, was fantastic. And of course, we've got the, the very chill drums just keeping us very much in the pocket. Uh, and then there was the addition to that as, that, as that melody still started to get legs, you had the addition of the what sounded like the pipe part of a bagpipe so you know you have the drones right that if you have a bagpipe you know it's the big pipes that come up over your head i believe if i'm explaining it right and then the rest of the you know the bagpipe and the, the melody of the bagpipe is played in this other part here and i loved how there was no drone but yet they used that uh instrument i'm sure there's an instrument that can achieve that um but it's such a beautiful kind of like uplifting enlightening kind of you know dance of joy kind of vibe you know I was waiting for the bottom to come in. Nice there. narrative of being adrift at sea. And I'm looking at the artwork, it seems, you know. It, what's uh, this will be my last stop for this song and I'll let it play out <clears throat> it is I, I was looking in it for a second I'm just kind of daydreaming and listening to the instrumentation like I do and then I looked at the at the title and I said oh my god that's right these are staff credits so you finish the game <laughs> you're probably really happy you finish the game and it's very uplifting and very celebratory in in a very I, I don't know if the game itself is, it's its one person, right? Did you guys say the, the character's name is Link or something? And is going through all these journeys and is like, <coughs> excuse me, and adrift in a celebratory kind of way. It's like you finish the game and it's very uplifting. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe there were some tailored parts of the melody that might chime back into different parts of the game that are in part of the uh, uh, reassembled perhaps in this track. Only you guys could tell me, I don't know. I could be wrong, but it sounds like there would be definitely room for that. Usually as a final end theme, you're pulling from different parts of a movie or, or maybe perhaps a game and kind of threading it into it. Um, but I, I love this. This is making me feel like, you know, I'm, I'm all good. Let's, let's like, let's go.
love that casual entrance of that synth string pad. Just for a little bit of richness. Little English horn bouncing around back there. And this is so fun. crying you are beautiful perfect that's a Hollywood ending right there that's great I'm looking at the artwork here and the artwork here is like pretty um, I guess there's like a dragon bird or something there in the back that browner artwork and stuff and all these great characters this would probably seem like a really fun game to get through I love that bit. I have a, I have a kinship with um, Celtic style music, um, and it transcends some of that transcends into Eastern, Middle Eastern, and and Far East styles of compositions. I think it's because I'm kind of that guy that has always been attracted to the uh, rooted drone, um, and and sometimes the rooted drone in an, in a song is not as visible. My daughter will tell you I have destroyed most of their listening experience as a kid because when they were younger, I'd sit in the truck with them and we'd go through music and they, I'd go find the note and there'd be the song they're just singing and I'd find that one note that goes all the way through all the chord changes. Like, I can't hear that, man. <laughs> so, but I do have that thing where I'm, I, I'm drawn to it. So that's why, and, and, it, and I think it actually happens inherently to us as listeners because even if you're not a musician and you're just, uh, you know, you love music, you love how it makes you feel, and, and you're listening like I do, and all of a sudden they step away from, you know, do like a key change or throw something else in there. It makes you do like the Victrola dog, you know, where you go, re, re, where was that? You know what I mean? And it's, and it's a wonderful thing, you know, as that's what music can do. I've always been that guy. Even a lot of my stuff that I've done, for those of you who might be here from my heavy metal channel, I've released about five or six guitar backing tracks on my heavy metal channel. And you'll hear the consistency of what I was just talking about on how I write, you know, is that I always, for some somehow I always seem to get that pocketed note drone through. Guitar backing tracks are different than the song because they're repetitive in its nature just so you can play and jam with it and stuff but some of the stuff that I do there is, has got that kind of bite to it so Pouncing Moogie thank you so much for that I hope you enjoyed that breakdown um, <clears throat> it, it, this was a great track I'm, I'm very I'm up right now you know and I'm, I'm going on uh, I'm seven and a half hours in this stream on my flat old ass sitting here um, a little bony marks in this cushion. <laughs> you know, <laughs> one of the things you lose when you get old is some of that muscle mass. And now when I stand up and I look at, you know, and I go, oh my God, what happened to my ass? I look like a bullfrog standing straight up. If you ever imagine a bullfrog standing up on their two hind legs. 
Sorry for that visual, but it's going to happen to all of us. <laughs> or at my my daughter, used, I, you know, I'd say to my girls, you know, when they would be talking about, you know, their girlfriend's rear end, and they'd say, what do you think about that? i go, oh, NMA. No more ass. You know, skinny. Anyhow, whatever. Only my daughters would get me involved in a conversation like that. I know, right? I do run a clean stream, though. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Calico Fox, are you here? Hi, Tex. I don't know if Tex YNNC is still here, but thank you for that prime sub. I appreciate that. Where's Calico? Hi, Calico. How's it? How you doing? Thanks for hanging out. You two dropped this over six hours ago. And um, thank you for still hanging out here and through this journey. Where am I at on my, uh, oh my God, does that say 2300? I can't see my, my, my little OBS thing on my second monitor is much smaller. Does that say 23? Somebody help me. I can't see because I, I stay old, brah. Oh my God, 2300 bucks. That is epic. Whoa, 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 whoa. <coughs> okay. I think that's worth, uh, you know, I still owe you guys a dance. I think, but, but the last thing I'll do, because then I'll be, as soon as I'm done with the stream, I'll dance. I'll do a, because I did the dance at 1,000, and now it's up to 23. <coughs> I, I owe you guys the dance, so I'll do that as my final thing, so I don't have to worry about catching my breath and continue the stream. But, um, <coughs> How about one bad dinosaur joke that I do for the kids? I'll say some because I'm looking at this and it's cutesy. Um, what do you call a dinosaur? What do you call a dinosaur that can't see? I don't think he saw us. I'm just saying. <laughs> ah, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Blindosaurus. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Well, you know why T Rex is always pissed, right? Because he can never tie his shoes. It's like, God dang it. What the fuck? Like, dang, freaking, freaking, what, That's why he's always so grumpy. Sorry. I, I, I usually have a slew of dinosaur jokes for the kids, but, um, you know. Let me see if I can remember any other one. Mm. No. I can't. I forget. I'm losing my chops. <coughs> You're here for the dad jokes. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Uh, Calico Fox 13 this is for you. Once again, thank you for your donations. Thank you for helping out the Maui Food Bank, joining me here, and us who are still hanging out here. Uh, this song that you want me to check out is... Oh, my God. More Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 14. And this is a Good King Mogul Moog. Oops. Mogul Moog theme. Good King Mogul Moog 7. I guess we should do it with the lyrics too, yeah? How about that? I know. Did I do this one? Calico, can you uh, suggest another one, please? It could be from the same game. I just realized I did this one. And also not too recently. I was like, wait a minute. And they beat me to it. Um, so, Calico, I'll wait for you for a second. We're cool. You know? Oh, my God. That's funny, Patty Cakes. By the way, Patty Cakes, I don't even think I said hi to you in this whole stream. How's it? Okay. Here we go. Oh, I see. You're making an adjustment. We're good. From Genshin Impact. Fontaine, I think Gisham. I don't know if I spelt it right, but. Ooh, all right. 
Uh, would this be the top one, just to make doubly doubly sure? Um, yeah, that happens. Uh, my my turnip and uh, one AMBM bus uh, who have been working oh, hard. Thank you so much. I'm not. If they're making changes that you guys are calling out on the sheet, I'm not clicking on it and looking right now. Everything that I'm pulling from is my mini feed because it makes more sense because I could see everything. <clears throat> so I haven't had. I'm I'm afraid to have multiple windows open, you know, um, just in case I make some kind of bobo thing and you know, make a mistake of some sorts. So anyhow, um, I can't see the top one. The top one right here says Fontaine Battle Theme 2, uh, Gisham Impact Original Soundtrack, Fontaine Chapter. No, oh, you want, wait. Sorry, stand by for a second, okay, yeah. Fontaine main theme. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I put man theme. Holla. And then I put main the wrong way. God dang. I write good. Okay, this says Fontaine main theme from Genshin Impact original soundtrack. Okay, this is the one. All right. Mama say, Mama Sabi, Makusa. Ooh. Okay. I'm losing it, guys. Here we go. All right. Can hear those influences you were mentioning. Stand by. I'm going to stop here for a second. Um, Calico Fox, when you were telling me with some a little of the background of it, uh, that it's based on um, uh, real world areas, France, Venice, and London. Now I had that in my head, and I was like, I can hear. There was a couple things that I heard in there. So oh, that has like a little Italian flair. Then this has a little more French flair. So I can actually. I'm peeling the parts away. I'm reading what you said. I'm I'm peeling it. Apart, but this is an incredible sounding soundtrack thus far. Um, while I continue to listen, um, can you tell me when this game was released? Oh my goodness, this piece was just released three weeks ago. So this is a very re recent um, or uh, London Symphony Orchestra performance of it. And uh, so, is is this what it sounds like in the game, or is this one of these? I I'm assuming this is. Uh, just shut up. Piano and I'm going to say dulcimer. the Italian flair.
I live with the lower strings keeping the pulse tight. That was insanely beautiful. I didn't want to stop it at all. Even stopping it that one time hurt me. Um, because I don't know what the original sounds like, um, and this is an orchestral uh, performance of it, um, I, can only, I can only guess that uh, it's going to be different orchestrations and different arrangements. I don't know. You guys tell me if this is close to the piece that's actually in the game. <coughs> but... Um, it had these elements, these, these, from Europe has come so many powerfully talented uh, composers in modern pop era. Yes, there's this Renaissance history of European composers that we're all very familiar with. But the performances uh, of it just, to me, just was so, how do I say this? I want to say swaying and the dancingness of it and everything and the expression of it, you know, and, and the unique details in the um, arrangements was like if, if you were to take something from, you know, uh, the sound of music and chitty chitty bang bang and that style of composition and, you know, kind of maneuvered it, remaneuvered it a little bit uh, with the arrangements the way I just heard. That's the essence the game that that composition gave me is that style of composition, you know, the grandiose, um, you know, musical uh, movie type of compositions. And uh, so it was beautiful. I don't see who says the conductor was Robert Ziegler. And yeah, hang on for a second. You can see that scooch for a second. It doesn't tell me who the orchestrator was here. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Anyhow, that was a fantastic listen. I just loved every bit of it. Not many times, Calico Fox, not many times that... <coughs> I mean, I listen to a lot of music. Obviously, shit, how much music have I listened... Oops, did I curse? Excuse me. Um, I mean, I've listened to a ton of music today, and I listen to music all the time, but... Um, one, you know, in a handful, once in a while, I listen to a piece of music that um, I, I drift away. I forget what I'm doing, you know, a reaction and stuff. And I got nothing to say because I'm just so involved in in my mind, in the theater of the mind of watching the orchestra perform this as I'm hearing it. So I'm imagining the sheet music. And then as a elementary school basic conductor, I might be. I'm looking at this and I'm going, I'm, in my mind I'm projecting it and then I'm imagining the musicians playing all this and I'm like, wow. And before you know it, I go, oh, geez, I'm doing a reaction. I'm in front of a, a couple of people here doing this and it just, this is one of those few pieces that did that to me. So thank you, Calico Fox, for that. So, uh, excuse me, my voice is getting pretty freaked. 
<laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm dying, guys. I'm dying. Um, yeah, I think this has got to be my last one, guys, because I'm really losing my voice here. And uh, But before I do, I do owe you guys the dance of 2340 bucks. Just for everybody that's here that you haven't bounced yet, and I know that I've, I owe, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to do this one last song and I will do my super dance to celebrate, you know, getting to where we are because this is officially going to end the fundraising. I think the link dies um, tonight at 12 o'clock your time. The link will go dead. And so um, it won't. I won't be doing any more fundraising for the Maui Food Bank. Um, for those of you who are still here, thank you so, 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 so much for hanging out. I don't know how many, how many of you have been here since I started? There must be at least 10 or 15 of you outside of my team, my mods and stuff. Uh, thank you so, so, so much. I can't tell you how much this means to me to be able to have the opportunity to, um, thank you, look at all you guys popping up saying it. Man, that's, that's fantastic. To get for me to have the opportunity to fundraise for something so impactful, especially so close to home, knowing that it's going to be a continual service <coughs> that the food bank will be providing. Jesus, I'm losing my voice. That the food bank will be providing in this most like absolutely mind-numbing, unprecedented disaster that hit Lahaina, and um, so I know I'll come back for more fundraising. Uh, if if you are here in the next few minutes and you still want to donate, uh, we have, it looks like maybe another 10 minutes, I think, before the link dies, because um, I had it set to 12 o'clock expire, uh, 12 a.m. on the 27th. Uh, please, you can drop in, donate, drop in final requests. They will all get done. What I plan on doing is Tuesday, I'm just going to go do a quick swim, relax, and I'm going to sit down here again, maybe for another four to six hours. But this time, I'm just going to go through the song list. I'm just going to go bang, 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 bang. And I'm saving everything to disc. And I will be opening up an archive channel on YouTube, not only for the whole Maui fundraising session we did, but from now on, I'm going to be taking all of my Twitch things and popping it there. A lot of talk for nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> he has to save the queen. So <coughs> anyhow. So I have one more here that I'm going to be doing. Twenty-five ninety. What the hell? Oh my goodness, Angel, take a screenshot of that. Here, I'll, 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 I'll make a funny. I'll make a cool picture. I'll point up to. Oh, you, it doesn't cross over because the way I have it. Uh, twenty-five ninety, guys. I only thought I was going to do five hundred bucks today, and this is just absolutely insane. Thank you so much. I'm so pumped. 26 keeps going <laughs> come on a few more get a few more in there before it, it, the, the the link goes monkey die dead and then uh, remember i will be getting to it all right let's do this um uh, i also had a couple of uh wonderful um subscriptions that have come through as well thank you so much you guys didn't have to do that okay this next one coming up is from cat cat are you still here your $20 donation, thank you so, so, so much. Um, if you are not, doesn't matter, I'm recording this onto my disc. It's not the size of the disc that counts, it's what I can get on it. That calls for a, uh... okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. For... Uh, Kat, is that you? Uh, Catherine Puchuku, uh, Puchuchu? Let's do this. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for your donation for the uh, Maori Food Bank. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that and your support. And from all of you around the world, too. I know that, like, the kebab seller is all the way in the Middle East somewhere. Everybody from around the world. Um, this is incredible. This is absolutely wonderful. And I'm so pumped to get the opportunity to pull us together for this common cause uh, uh, for the Maui Food Bank. Okay. Uh, here we go. 
This is um, for cat, and this one is called the house in Fata. Oh, geez, I'm gonna blow this typing. The house in Fata. Oh, there it is. Fata Morgana. Hi. Where is it? Sold death. Boy, that's a lot of words for death. I sold death. Wow, what is this? Is this an anime? Is this anime? Let me know. I think that's... Uh... All right. All right, here we go, guys. We're getting close to my eight hours. All right. Brick and brack and brick and brack them. Get that ball and really fight. All right. Trippy artwork. violin is so painful sounding and not by its musicianship or its performance it's just how it was written Ooh, I love these arpeggiations coming up behind to stop this for a breather this is so painful and so dark um, um, in its not only in its 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 dynamic composition at the very beginning like I said that that violin just sounds so searing and so painful by its performance value not by the musicianship not by the just the way it's being performed so standalone very nomadic nomadically in pain kind of a vibe but I don't know if you guys were when listening to when I said, listen to what's bubbling up underneath. And it never, I thought it was going to maybe come to pass where it was going to grow and maybe take over. But they kept this little bubbling arpeggiation happening at the bottom. That actually, to me, sounded like a, a it felt like a vat of boiling oil. That's how 
you know, it's like, oh my God, this thing sounds just so dark and so insidious, you know. And then now what we just witnessed sonically is the, um, I've talked about this before, the additional arrangements as we're growing in intensity. That single violin then at one point went from a single violin to maybe two or three. Now it, 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 some of that edginess was taken away from it when it got doubled up. Then we started to hear a little bit more of the arpeggiated kind of with the percussion is in. And now we're hearing a little bit more on the bottom. And the percussion is getting a little more, uh, a little hotter, and now the now the arrangements are starting to stack and layer. But it's almost like this: the feeling that I get is almost like you know having to be chained down in the pirate ship, you know, with the oars and just same thing. Oh, and just more and more and more and more and more and more painful. And it's such a it's 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 very powerful. It's a great piece of music. Uh, if the intention was to relay that, that's how I'm feeling. so chaotic. Everything you guys are saying is so spot on. The anxiety, the chaotic aspect of how this thing was building. And there's a point too where the mixing of it, there's almost, almost it sounds like there's almost a slight intentional muddying that's going on there. There's not a definitive separation in the tracks. So it, it is, it's kind of like this stuck in a, in, a, in, a, in a dark Gothic snow globe is the feeling it's like I can't get out and it's like just like mind numbing and it's just you know and very anxiety claustrophobic I think is another good word don't you think for this kind of track very claustrophobic and very you know I'm you know gasping of breath kind of thing uh, let me go back a little bit and uh, we'll get into this nice breakdown <laughs> Can't make sense of the language, but Can you hear the background? I'm sorry, I gotta stop. We're gonna go back. I want you to listen to this. We're gonna go back into this. I don't know what the language is that's being said there. Um, but I, I wanna I wanna go back to this section now where we just have this little meandering piano going on and in the bottom god this is the magic of this composition for me in the bottom is listen for that bubbling anxiety so even though it gave us it took away all that heaviness and the anxiety of the percussion and all the layers this just strung itself back out we have this meandering piano and listen to the bottom arrangement i don't know if it's organic uh meaning it could be a some kind of weird analog hybrid loop thing that's going on there that's got like a lot of the high ends uh, EQ'd out. But let's listen to that again. Let's go back into that and I promise I, I won't stop anymore, but I want you to listen for that. Listen to the bottom. Way back in the mix. It would be like dance of these devilish little gnomes or something, you know? Thank you. 
Now I can't unhear that toast gig. I love listening to that kind of ring off like that. That was wonderful, Cat. That was uh, who was the composer? Uh, Yasuki Tsutsumi. Tsutsumi. Um, wow, that was really, really, really emotional, dark, heavy, panicky. I think that would be it. That that to me, that whole sec, that whole from about <coughs> a minute. <laughs> Excuse me, a minute into maybe this last out, um, then that would be um, that most panicky part of this composition. Thank you so much for bringing that um, to to my attention. Um, I'm 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 done. I'm done. My chest is tired. I think it's tired because I've been <laughs> breathing and coughing and hacking and stuff. But I'm not that. Don't worry, I'll be okay. Uh, before everybody leaves, though, I know there's quite a few of you here. Just stand by. You've made it this far. So hang on for just a second. Um, uh, read all the donations. Yeah, I've got to read all those, these donations. On uh, 1 a.m. bus, do these donations, do they, do they make it on that big list? I mean, they'll still stay on my feed. I know that even at, when I close the session on, uh, um, on my Twitch and Streamlab. But just in case... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let me know. We all got them. Okay. All right. Good. Um, I do want to say um, I, I can't um, thank you guys enough for your support. Um, at one point, I had up to 160 people here, and I know uh, Saturday and Twitch and, and multi generational place, and people have a lot of things to do on the weekend. And be it that I thought I would be hoping to get five hundred dollars, and we got how much all together? Angel, how much do I got? Or everybody? Where where am I at now? Hundred and eighty percent of what I asked for. Oh my goodness, that is just twenty seven hundred. That is just insane, you know. And um, I enjoyed every moment of it. My voice is even happy about it, even though I'm losing it. Um, I obviously promise that. All the ones that I didn't do, I'm going to pick up where I left off on um, Tuesday. And I'll probably hang out for a few hours and get as many in. I don't know if I'll get them all in. I think I probably got 50 or 60 because when I made that last call to action saying, okay, hurry up, I think I got four or five more. So I'm sure I've got quite a few left. I'm, I went in order of everything that happened. Um, Uh, little Pan Panda, are you still here? I want to ask you a really quick question. Um, I think I may have just skipped this one. I'll make note of it. Um, is it uh, Toward Her Light Arc Nights? I think I, I might have skipped over that because I think you've done a couple of donations. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you know what? Um, no, I, I, yeah, Little Pan Panda, would you mark that for me? Uh, because I, I, I was thinking maybe I should do this, just my ears are shut. Um, would you mark that for me, Little Pan Panda's, um, request for Toward Her Light and Arc Nights? Or leave that ungreened. I think everything you guys did on that list you marked and leave the ones unmarked are the ones I still have to do. Uh, first of all, before I dig out, I want to say once again, I know that I'm a sneak. He's passed out. He was with me since like 10.30 and also 1 a.m. bus have been with me since 10.30 this morning, my time. So for the last nine hours, they've dedicated their time to help me. Like I said earlier, I just want to one more time bow my head in humility and gratefulness for I'm a sneak, 1 a.m. bus and turn up uh, for doing everything that you did to help me get this on, you know, no matter how much you or percentage of about all three of you, I can't thank you guys enough because it's also something that, you know, I trust you guys <laughs> in being mods and doing that stuff. It's it's an important thing. Um, one, I am bus. I am bus. <laughs> one, I am bus. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know me. Um, to everybody that's still here on the stream, there's 106 of you. 
Um, I, I'm not going to cry. You're going to cry. I'm tired, so my eyes are watering. But this has been one of the most amazing days for me when it comes to uh, putting out what it is. It's the culmination of, of entertainment, music. Guys, we did this on music. We did this all with music. And that's what's amazing for me. Um, I know that there's people putting on concerts and doing things to raise funds, but in the capacity in which I do things, I'm not a musician in that capacity. I could never be in a band and play out and stuff like that. So we were able to do this and bring, <coughs> excuse me, $2,700 in uh, to the food bank. And that's absolutely amazing when I was only expecting maybe $500. Uh, for those of you who have been here for the whole journey, um, you know, I, I can't, I, I'm just blown away and pumped. Uh, I owe you guys a dance, don't I? I owe you guys a dance. So um, uh, this is for my $2,700 $2, achievement for the Maui Food Bank. Um, I won't hurt myself. Yes, I'll, I'll, do, the, I'll do the dance. Uh, I do want to let you know, though, that uh, all the music that we have done here, obviously the VOD is not going to be published because it's going to be multiple strikes and it really could possibly hurt my channel with a real physical, with a strike. I have saved to a hard drive, and when I'm done with the rest of the catching up here, probably in a week or two, like I said, just to reiterate this, uh, even if you missed it, if you're somebody who's going, wow, I missed my thing, I will compress it, I'll spend many hours doing it, but I will be putting it on um, a Twitch archive on YouTube, so we can reshare that experience, so that's, that's going to happen there. All right, guys, I got to do the dance. Yes, it was a procrastination to the dance. You know that, Patty Cakes. All right, wait a second. Um, <coughs> excuse me. No. Oh, I can't dance. I'm coughing. Oh, my arm is broke. I think it's broke. Oh, 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 my arm is broke. Who was that? Do you guys remember what movie that was for? Oh, 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 my arm. It's broken. It's broken. I don't know. I don't think I can play. I don't know. Tell me the movie. Tell me the movie that's from. And, I'm, and I'm, I'll be a dancing fool. How many of you guys remember? No, 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 no. It was the famous Rodney Dangerfield and Caddyshack. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh, my arm. I think it's broke. Okay, guys, what song should I do? How about we do a dedication to Pee Wee Herman and I do tequila? Yeah? <laughs> so, uh... Da, 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 da. All right, guys. Um, I got to move. I'm going to tip my camera up because I know that I'll disappear. My face will, which is probably a good thing for my happy dance. So I'm going to go out of range a little bit here for a second with my uh, gimbal. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I'll go down a little bit. Uh, this could be this could be painful, guys. But here we go. This is my happy dance because of our goal of of five hundred dollars got smashed, and we hit twenty seven hundred dollars for the Maui Food Bank. And this is my let's do it. All right, guys. Here we go. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> I turn the volume up so I can dance to it. Uh oh, is this the full bit? Wait a minute, I gotta get just to the dance if this is the full bit. Wait a minute, stand by guys. I, I'm not going through, I gotta do the full bit. Wait, wait. Okay, here we go. This is it. Are we ready, guys? Are we ready? This is to celebrate. $2,700 to the Maui Food Bank and all of your generous donations. Here we go. A matter of fact, I got to turn on another light here because I think, uh, I don't know if there's enough light in my little cubby hole. So stand by. Oh, my shorts stay sticking, bro. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Where's the camera? Okay, here we go. Are, are, are we almost ready? Ugh. How's my hair? How's my hair? Oh, my hair. Here we go. Uh...
Okay, here we go. I don't have the cool shoes though. And then everybody's got to say tequila with me. Seven hundred bucks. Everybody ready? <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> Holy Christ. Oh my goodness. I'm winded AF. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Holy smokes. <laughs> I hope that was worth it for all you guys because... Hang on. Okay, much better. Um. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I'm an old fart for that. Holy smokes. That might have been the last, my last live stream. If my heart doesn't, uh, hang on for a second, I'm fixing my camera. Just so I can say goodbye to you guys. Oh. All right, guys. I hope you guys all got a kick out of that. <laughs> This is going to be my best friend in about two minutes. It's my asthma spray. All right. Guys, thank you so much. I, I think the link is uh, finally done with. Um, I know that when I edge, when I stop the stream, it should be gone. Now, I might get some dormant um, donations, but thank you all so much. Uh, I can't uh, thank you guys enough. I really can't. <laughs> Excuse me. Eight hours and 15 minutes of live streaming. <sighs> so worth it. $2,700 for the Maui Food Bank. <sighs>